my destiny, my, my freedom is not in my hands anymore. It's going to be at the hands of a judge. And that is incredibly frightening. My name is Daryl Gebian. I'm an emergency physician. I'm also somebody in long-term recovery from a fentanyl addiction. So it started uh, back in 2008 and I had some back pain, I also had an injury and I was prescribed Percocet. So that was a, an appropriate prescription. It became more of a crutch, like it wasn't just for physical pain, I started using it for, for emotional pain issues, stress, and I found it, it was a great escape. The only way objectively to look back is I remember I used to sleep in the driveway. I was getting it from work and I was getting it from home and I didn't want to face it. There came a day when um, I didn't have any more Percocet and I knew I was going to go through withdrawal. I had a fentanyl patch that had been given to me and I cut it in small pieces and I smoked part of it and I was astounded at how powerful it was. For me that was the beginning of the end because now I'd gotten a taste of a much stronger drug and I liked it. The addict mind is so much stronger than the rational mind. To have police coming into my house with a battering ram, for this to happen in front of my kids, and I am so frightened at this point, and that thought of going through my mind is, what the heck has happened here? Fentanyl in my life destroyed many, many things. It led to, ultimately, to a divorce with my wife separation, like geographical separation. She's out in New Brunswick now with the kids. I don't have my kids to hold. Fentanyl just about killed me and with my mother there was the unintentional overdose when she was dealing with severe back pain. She was so worried about me and losing me and in the end it ends up I lost her. I want people to realize addiction knows no bounds. It can affect anybody. To let people know like they're not alone.